Today we're going to talk about the wolf as the spirit animal. What are the qualities of the wolf and most importantly how can you learn to connect with a wolf and tap into those qualities? Hello I am Ramona Quintea and welcome to my blog Art for the Soul with Ramona. And recently I've been painting a series of paintings based on spirit animals. My inspiration came through some shamanic meditations and the more I got into it the more I wanted to understand what spirit animals represent, what do they represent throughout history in various cultures and also how can you connect with the spirit animal. Um, the wolf is a very interesting spirit animal and it's very dear to my heart because I am originally from Romania and the wolf represents a very important symbol to Dacians, the ancestors of Romanians. In modern times in the Western world, the wolf is not viewed very nicely. He has a lot of um, negative connotations, starting with you know stories such as the little red riding hood where the wolf is the bad bad wolf uh, also now we're thinking about werewolves but this hasn't been so throughout the history the native americans valued the wolves as proud hunters loyal friends and intelligent teachers the best known legend in the Western civilization is uh, Romulus and Remus, the founders of Rome. They were actually raised by a she-wolf and they suckled from a she-wolf, so we know that story. In Egypt, one of the original deities was a wolf and uh, the name, the meaning of the name was opening of the ways. And also Mongolians believe that they are descendants of the wolf. As a spirit animal, the wolf has some very important qualities and when you tap into the energy of the wolf, you can tap into those qualities. So number one is intuition. Uh, you need to tap into your intuition many, many times. It's great to check to see, is this path the right one for me? Um, you know, should I go this way or that way? So connecting with your wolf energy, you would be able to tap into your intuition. And please feel free to use the paintings as a visual aid for you to connect with the wolf energy. So when you do your visualizations, it would be very helpful to have the image of the wolf and you know perhaps the paintings would help you do that um, so number one intuition let's look at number two number two is intelligence the wolves are considered to be highly highly intelligent animals and you know we all know we all know that we need to tap into our intelligence now and again number three is loyalty Wolves are one of the most loyal animals on the planet. Um, they made for life and if they're, if they're made, died, they were not made again. So they're very, very loyal animals. And number four would be appetite for freedom. So if you feel, you know, claustrophobic in your day-to-day -day life, if you feel like the wolves are closing in, in your job or in your marriage, and you want to explore this freedom, tap into your wolf energy and explore the freedom through the wolf energy. I hope this video has inspired you to learn more about the wolf and to connect with the wolf. You can also go to my website, ramonapintea.com and see all the other animals that I've been painting and exploring and you know studying for the last uh, two years or so. Uh, there is a variety of, of animals, spirit animals there that I've depicted in, in many ways. The tiger, the lion, the uh, bear, the horse, uh, you know, birds, uh, all sorts of animals. Um, so have a look there and also leave me some comments. I'm very curious to see how this process is working out for you. Let me know if you managed to connect with a wolf and if you did, let me know what your experience was. Please share your comments below and keep in touch. Bye-bye.